Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Fabulite. What opens with T.Y. looking like she looked, lost something? And what closes with, I think T.Y. done lost her man, Femi. If you got Skinny Girl in Transit, Season 2, Episode 3, Old oh, Flame, Season 2, Episode 4, Reality Check. You're correct. I'm Angela. The channel is Be Fabulous You. Thank you so much for clicking on um, the video and sticking around to see how we get from opening to closing. So we got T.Y. She looks like she's looking for something and she's interrupted by Mommy. Mommy is like, we have to talk, T.Y. Sit down um, about Shaliwa and her new boyfriend. In my sleep, the Holy Spirit revealed to me in a dream. It was Shaliwa. She was running and running and running and then she stopped. She just stopped and she bit his hand and, and I think he's a voodoo guy. I think that's what she was saying. I'm not really sure. But Shaliwa is in trouble. There's trouble. There's trouble. Um, but we're going to pretend, Shaliwa, I mean, we're going to pretend, Tiwa, that we don't know anything, but we'll be planning and praying and fasting. Okay, so we see Tiwa and she is at a photo shoot, photo shoot, and she is being um, photographed and Dee Dee is there. Look like she eating her lunch and it seems like um, it's for some plus size brand she's the spokesmodel for. And then Dee Dee is like, I don't think it's a good idea for you to meet up with this cola. I don't think it's a good idea for you to meet up with this cola guy. And then T.Y. is like, um, it's hard and it's complicated. He says he wants to talk um, to me and um, let me at least listen. Let me at least listen. Um, what's, wor what's the worst thing that can happen? And Dee Dee is like, what if Cola finds out? I mean, what if, oops. Dee Dee is like, what if Femi, your boyfriend, finds out? Then we see um, T.Y. and she's at a yogurt shop and um, there's this bratty boy. I want this. I want this. I want this. I want this. And um, T.Y. turns around to kind of see what's going on and she sees Maxwell. Now we know Maxwell is Shali Wise, older guy that she's dating who's bought her um well, who, this older guy that she's dating. Um, so T.Y. Um, takes a picture, you know, of this guy, of this situation. And then um, we see Cola walking up to the table and um, he has water um, and, and, you know, water for T.Y. And T.Y. to us says, I know what it looks like, but I'm not sneaking around. He's been calling and calling. Um... He's been calling and calling nonstop, and he did take a blow for me. Um, least I can do is listen. That's why I'm here in this public place. I can scream if he tries to do anything funny. And then Cola is like, oh, you are so beautiful, and it's not just because you're with another guy. And, but, um, it's because now that we're not together, I know what I lost. Why are you so cold? Is the air conditioning on here? And, um, T.Y. is like, um, you took advantage of me, um, because I was so into you and you used me and then you threw me away. And then, um, Cola is like, let me make it up to you. And T.Y. is like, I have Femi to do that. And then Cola is like, you know Femi's a player, right? And uh, T.Y. is like, how is that your business? And Cola is like, you are my business. And T.Y. is like, um, you are my, uh, oh, he, oh, Cola is like, you are my business. T.Y., you are my business. Give me a chance. You'll see that it's the best thing for you and for me. I mean, for you, it's the best thing for you. And then T.Y. is like, your intentions aren't pure. And she's standing up. And then Cola's like, okay, let me give you a lift. I mean, you're going to take a car service? You rejected my food. You rejected the water. You wouldn't let me open the water. You rejected me. The least you can do is let me give you a ride. And T.Y. is like, okay, just a ride. And then um, we see T at home, you know, we see T.Y. She gets out of the car. Cola gets out. He follows her over to the gate where she's trying to get in. He hugs her in this awkward way. And um, T.Y. is like, what are you doing? And Cola is like, I'm trying to say goodbye. And T.Y. is like, bye. And then Cola drives off. And T.Y. is still at the gate trying to get her gate open. And we see Femi in his car watching. And then um, T.Y. comes into the house. Mommy is on the couch with Shaliwa. Um, and T.Y. is chatting with Mommy, who's talking to her in code. 
Did you do what we talked about this morning? And Shali was like, what are y'all talking about? T was like, girl, I don't know. And then um, the bell rings. Um, T.Y. answers and she's all smiles and she's glad to see um, Femi and hey, hey, hey. And Femi is like, where you been all day? And T.Y. is like, you know, mostly, um, you know, I'm dealing with my car. I went to the mechanic and Femi is like, well, how did you get back from the mechanic? Um, and T.Y. is like, oh, pick up. Come on inside. Come on inside. And then he's looking at her like. I can't do his expression like. I don't believe you. I don't trust you. You would lie right to my face. Okay. So then that was the end of episode um, episode three. And now we're on to reality check episode two. I mean, episode four. So Shali Y is in her room. We see that her bed is full of new stuff. And she's on the phone. Yes, baby, of course. <laughs> She's all cheesy and happy. And then T.Y. comes into the room and Charlie was like, I gotta go. Okay, I tell you, oh, you're making me blush. <laughs> and um, T.Y. is like, um, who are you on? Who are you um, talking to? Oh, he's the one who bought you all of this stuff, that guy, Maxwell. And um, Shally Y is like, he was just swiping and swiping. He didn't ask how much anything was or anything. And then T.Y. is like, uh, what are you doing, Shali Y? What is he getting for all of these things? And Shali Y is like, are you trying to call me? Uh, 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 accuse me or something? And um, T.Y. is like, I'm just just a, a guy his age um, being this generous with a girl your age. And you don't even know him. Don't be naive. Oh, oh, with a girl your age, don't be naive. And then Shali Y is like, you are judging him and you don't even know him. And then T.Y. is like, okay, okay, where does he live? And then Shali Y is like, uh, well, I haven't been to his house yet. And then T.Y. is like, well, okay, well, where does he work? And Shali Y is like, um, uh, somewhere on the island. Yeah. And um, T.Y. is like, well, what's the name of his company? And Shali Wa is like, I don't know. I, 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 do you want me to go investigate him at work or something now? And then um, T.Y. is like, you have to admit there is something fishy about this guy. A man that old, what is he doing with you? Buying you human hair, giving you designer bags. Can't you see? Can't you open your eyes? Are you blind? And Shali Wa is like, see what? And then T.Y. is like, you are his side chick. And then Shali Y is like, oh, so he looks like he's married? Well, you look like you're married with three children. And then T.Y. is like, um, I'm only talking to you because I care about you. And then Shali Y is like, jealousy. Jealous. You're just jealous. And then uh, T.Y. is like, she leaves and then she says to us, surely I am not the only one who can see that this guy is a sugar daddy. Just I just hope his wife doesn't come to this house one day and beat Shali Wa up. I got bigger things to worry about, though. I've been calling Femi for a week now, nonstop. And mostly he doesn't it, the call doesn't even go through. And when he picks up. He says he's too busy. I hope there's nothing wrong with him. Okay, so then we got T.Y. She on the air. She's um talking, you know, to her audience. Um, So do you have someone at your office? I can't say the word on the air because we own air. But you know, that's someone at your office who just gets on your nerves and is not the nicest person and is jealous of you and blah, 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 blah. Well, call in. Hit us up on social media. Let's talk today about our office peers okay and so then um hadisa speaking of office peers hadisa comes in walking into the studio oh ty your style has been on fire these days girl did you get a new stylist i see you've been too busy to get your hair done though <laughs> but don't worry i'll give you the name of my stylist and i mean my hair stylist and she can or he can hook you up or whatever um and then T.Y., she has a little, you know, her little T.W., her um, teeny weeny afro. And it's like, you know, got some, 
it's not just like a straight afro it's got some like little indentations and stuff in it um um so anyway kind of sectioned off but not really sectioned off um so what are you doing on your show today this is Hadisa talking to Ty, and Ty is like oh I'm talking about office biatches and then um Hadisa's like um ugh don't you just hate them girl have you seen me day to day? Yum! He's a snack. She didn't say all of that. He called me into his office just to ask me how I'm doing. And his smile is to die for. And T.Y. is like, he smiles? Uh, who knew it? And Hadisa is like, yes, girl. Folks keep saying that he doesn't smile and that he's scary. But he smiles at me all the time. <laughs> I guess he likes me. <laughs> And then she whispers, we kind of had dinner in his office. And then T.Y. is like, oh, my God, that's so interesting. And Adisa's like, no. And T.Y. is like, not. And then um, Hadisa is like, whatever. I know you guys gossip about us. And uh, T.Y. is like, us. And uh, Hadisa is like, me and me day. And then me day comes in. And T.Y. is like, good, good evening, sir. And then me day is like, just me day. And then Hadisa is like, hi, me day. And then uh, me day, ignoring Hadisa, is like, uh, T.Y., we need to uh, meet uh, maybe tomorrow night, blah, 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 blah. And then T.Y., meanwhile, she's talking to us. She's like, wow, did you just see him ignore her? <laughs> And then me day is like, T.Y., T.Y., did you hear me? Are we about to have another fight? And then T.Y. is like, no, 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 I was, I was just, um, I was distracted. Um, um, what, what, what time tomorrow? And me day is like 7.38. And then who, he, he, Hadisa is looking upset and ignored, neglected. I won't be neglected. I won't be denied. So anyway, Hadisa is looking all neglected and denied. And then um, me day is like, um, you know, I'll have my secretary, you know, get us dinner because we'll be a little late probably. And then Hadisa, um, as me day leaves, is like, bye me day. And then um, me day looks at Hadisa and he can't even be bothered to say bye. He just look at her and then he leaves. And then um, Hadisa is like, you see how he pretends to not notice me? And then T.Y. leaves laughing. She like, he pretend like he don't notice you because it seemed like he don't notice you. And then um, we see um, T.Y. She's on the street. She's on her phone. She's under the hood. And she's like, sir, I just got this car back. And it's already having issues. No, no, no. I am not paying you again. Hello? Hello? And then me day pulls up, he rolls the window down. He like, you okay? And T.Y. is like, no, my car is having issues. Every month is something else. And me day is like, uh, you want to ride home? And T.Y. is like, no, I'll take a cab. And me day is like, no, where are you going? And T.Y. is like, um, lucky third roundabout. And then me day is like, that's fine. It's, it's not a bother. Come on. And then um, in the cars, they're driving. You know, me day is like, so uh, you live with your parents? And T.Y. is like, yeah, my younger sister, but I'm going to a friend's house. And then me day is like, oh, a boyfriend? And then T.Y. is like, kinda. And then me day is like, oh, is this the one after the one that shattered your heart? And then um, T.Y. is like, I guess that's why I shouldn't put all my business on the radio. And then me day is like, I understand um, your listeners are invested in your life, but I just, I couldn't do it. I just, I value my privacy too much. And then um, T.Y. is like, is that how your girlfriend is too? And me day is like, no, I don't have a girlfriend. And then T.Y. is like, oh, well, the girls in the office will be happy to hear that. And me day is like, but not you. You have a boyfriend, huh? And then T.Y. is like, I, oh, oh, we're here. Thank you for the ride. Bye. And he's like, you're welcome. Bye. And then um, we see um, a door, a knock at the door and the door opens and it's Femi. He only got the door open this much. And then um, he's like, oh, hey. And T.Y. is like, hey, I've been worried about you. And Femi is like, oh, I've been busy with work. And um, 
he kind of opens the door and T.Y. comes in and um, it's it's there's there's a woman sitting there. And T.Y. and me and you are like, what? 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 And then Femi is like, um, uh, T.Y. meet Naomi. Naomi, meet my friend T.Y. T.Y. is like, friend? What happened to the girl in front of the friend? And then Naomi is like, I'm going to go upstairs and let you guys, um, you know, do whatever you're doing. Is the TV working or something? And she goes upstairs and, you know, me, um, not me, Dave, but Femi is like, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. And then T.Y. is like, what in the world? You know, she's, um, you know, she, oh yeah, the, I said the girl go upstairs with some slick comment and T.Y. is like very mad and upset and she like, what in the world is going on? Through? And you know, me, da I mean, Femi is kind of like casual and relaxed, like, yeah, whatever. And that's the end of the episode. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'm Angela. Again, the channel is Be Fabulous You. Like, comment, subscribe, share. We're still working on 200 subscribers, so you could be a charter subscriber if you already aren't a charter subscriber. Today is the best day ever, and you are the greatest, the greatest at being you, so be you. Be fabulous. Be fabulous you. Be you. Be fabulous. Be fabulous you. Be you. Be fabulous.